Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, looking in on my stacked bin. Ooh, well, I don't know if this is food or worms. Squishy. Okay, answer is yes. Food and worms, a little bit. Two cocoons right there. Oh, there's the, the new one. Right there. Yeah, these guys look pretty happy in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Broke up the party. We did that last week. We'll put them back under where they can have some privacy. But yeah, uh, I had not been putting citrus in my bins. But I'll tell you, not that they ever smell bad, but they actually, you know, they smell pleasant now. Kind of like somebody, you know, polished the furniture or something. Let's see if everybody's distributed or next to the food. Yeah, we clearly have some people. People? Worm people? Well, yeah, worm people. Have to see what the underneath side is doing. Yeah, they're still all over the place. All right, I'm gonna cover these guys back up and see what the bottom of this stacking set is doing. All right, here they are in the underneath side. And as I suspected, pretty, pretty wet in here. Yeah, I don't, the stacking systems, I don't know, they don't so much work the way I always thought they were supposed to. They're already starting to go through the bedding pretty good. It, it feels different even from last week. More composty feeling, your word. I don't know, oxygenated or what have you, so that it doesn't go sour. Considering this is just bedding and uh, leftovers. Oops, cocoon. There we go. Yeah, now in this corner it's still very papery. Very, uh-oh, looks like a teenager party. Look at all the little ones. So yeah, the side where the food drippings would have came is, uh, you can see the difference in the color. You know, they're going from paper brown to that nice black castings color. Another, another party. And another. That looks like a lot of blues. I don't know if you can see the sparkly thing, but I see at least as much sparkliness out of the blues as I do out of the Africans. I'm not sure if it translates to camera or not. I'm getting better with my identification, but they're definitely more sparkly. Dude, the potatoes. Oh, check that out. Well, finally. Good job, guys. I'm so glad I didn't squish that, because I so was going to squish that. But yeah, there's another bunch of castings where you can, I think it's kind of neat, where you can see the transition between the paler brown paper combination substrate and the um, and the finished castings, you know, where you can see kind of a straight line of them. I'm going to put that potato back under there and now that I'm done fluffing everybody up over here, put them back. It really does get compacted in here. Just from the amount of worms that I see in the upper part and the lower part, even though it's compacted, what I would consider compacted, um, they seem to prefer it. Even when the top is, is a good level of moisture, they still seem to be down here. Ooh, I saw a brand new tiny little egg. Will I ever be able to find it again? Oh look, something cool, and it got away. Instead of fish stories, they're worm stories. All right, well, I'm going to turn you back off again and, and see who's on the flip side. Well, look at these little brats. It's more of that very pale color on the bottom. But, yeah, this is supposed to be the, you know, just in case the water 
gets too much in the bin. I think I'm gonna grab some coconut coir. If you can't join them, or you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. If you... Yep, this is not, you know, conditioned or anything, so probably should just put some of the bedding from the second layer in here so that there's at least some microbes to get started. All right, I've officially given up on this being the leachate runoff. Uh, yeah, live and learn, right? Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms today, and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel. Have a good night.